Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're gonna be talking about daily percent moves, not only to the upside, but also to the downside. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So, volatility, especially to the downside, is not something people in crypto like to think about. And newcomers often just think that we only ever go up monotonically. But of course, there are phases in the cycles where we will have days where we do go down. Now, we know that Bitcoin generally does trend up with time, but that doesn't mean you can't have moves in both directions. Okay, so Bitcoin goes up and Bitcoin goes down, but Bitcoin mainly goes up. But even though it mainly goes up, we should understand what could what, what are what are potential downside risks and what are potential upside targets on a on a daily basis and to see kind of like if we can visualize that a little bit better. All right. So this first chart shows daily negative five percent moves by Bitcoin. OK. And over the last few weeks, I've had a lot of people um, you know, really struggling to, to get this whole Bitcoin thing and, and wondering why it's bleeding and everything. Look, when you look at a chart like this, every line on the chart represents a day where Bitcoin lost 5% of its value, which is crazy to think about considering that Bitcoin has gone up millions of percent since inception. So despite the fact that Bitcoin has gone up millions of percent since inception, each line on this chart represents a day where the valuation of Bitcoin dropped a very modest 5%. Now, you're probably wondering, well, no one cares about 5% then, right? No one's going to get out of bed for a 5% move to the upside or the downside. That's why we have a whole fleet of charts we can look at. Here's negative 10%, all right? So 10% drops sting a little bit, of course. Um, but they're not really that uncommon. I mean, they, they do happen every once in a while and, and fair, in, a, in a fairly periodic manner, you will see days where the valuation of Bitcoin drops 10%. You'll even see days where it drops 15%. Now, the last time that Bitcoin dropped 15% from open to close was back in March of 2020. So it's been quite a while. And you might say, well, Ben, I mean, hasn't, hasn't there been drops where it's, it's done, done more than that? Well, yeah, but remember, this is just daily daily opens to daily closes. That's all. That's all this is concerned with. We're not mining hourly data, or you know, data mining minute data over here. We're looking at, at daily opens and daily closes. Negative twenty percent moves. They still happen. It's not nearly as frequent, but they still happen. The last one we had was in March of twenty twenty. The one before that was in in early twenty eighteen. To get to one before that, you'd have to go back to twenty fifteen. Okay, so, or, or sometime maybe, it looks like, yeah, it looks like around 2015, either late 2014, early 2015. So, even 20% moves can happen. 25% moves have known to happen, 30% and 35% moves. So there's been, looks like on the daily time frame, you can see there's been three days in Bitcoin's life where it dropped 35% from open to close. Now, this isn't the fun, these aren't the fun charts to look at. We can also look at moves to the upside. Plus 5% moves. Looks a lot better, right? So while there are a lot of moves to the downside and you could experience 5% drops in your portfolio, you're also going to experience a lot of days where the price goes up 5% or more. And one of the things, you know, these charts are, are not really meant for, for people who have been in the space a long time. I think really they're meant for people who are, are really new and or people that just like data visualization but really people that are new to the market they don't necessarily understand how the markets work and and so what's just another day in the cryptoverse for someone who's been in the cryptoverse for a while um can be really hard for someone who maybe first bought bitcoin a couple weeks ago so i just want to help people visualize these moves not only to the downside but also to the upside these are daily 10 percent moves looks pretty good, right? I mean, there's been plenty of days. We actually haven't really had a day recently where we saw 10% to the upside from daily open to daily close. These are 15% moves and 20% moves and 25% and 30% and 35% daily moves. Note that from daily open to daily close, Bitcoin has not had a, a move where it went up 35% in a day 
since 2013. And this goes back to that macro volatility we've been talking about. And, and you cannot expect Bitcoin to just rally you know, a couple hundred percent in three days because we just don't see that type of price action anymore, right? I mean, look, I'm all for Bitcoin going up. I, I want it to go up, but we also want to be realistic with our expectations and, and not assume that it's going to rally several hundred percent in a relatively short period of time. I mean, we haven't even put daily moves of 35% in since 2013. So you, you need to keep that in mind. So if you're, you know, if you're, fought, if you're loving these other models that people present where they're, where they're constantly claiming that Bitcoin's going to go on some crazy rally over the next two weeks and go to, you know, 100K, 200K, you should note that the, the data just simply not support that type of a move. And, and while they may claim that it does, there's, there's nothing in the data to suggest that that is at all remotely possible to see a $200,000 Bitcoin in the next couple of weeks. So let's be grounded. Let's, we understand where the markets are. We're, 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 Bitcoin's grinding a little bit right now. We're trying to figure out, okay, can we get back above 50K? Can we, you know, can we establish a local bottom? What's going on? There's a lot of uncertainty right now. Let's combine them and get a little festive. So daily moves to the upside and the downside of 5%. So when you sprinkle them all together, what do you notice? I mean, Bitcoin's volatile. It's just, it's volatile and it goes up and it goes down, but it mainly goes up. And hopefully the green lines on the chart stand out a little bit more than the red ones, because theoretically you would like to see a lot more days where Bitcoin goes up 5% and down 5%. Um, but this is what it looks like. And, and certainly recently there's been a cluster of red. Why? Well, I mean, Bitcoin's been in a downtrend for the last, you know, four or five weeks. And you can see this cluster of red over here. But clusters of red do not last forever. Okay, they, they just simply don't. And you can, go, you can look at daily 10% moves to the upside and the downside on the same chart. And finally, daily 15% moves to the upside and the downside. So while I know some people get extremely nervous about Bitcoin in the short term, and wonder what are the local targets to the upside and the downside? Is it gonna keep bleeding? Is it gonna go up? The point is, is that it's going to do all of those things. It's going to go up, it's going to go down, it's going to go sideways. The idea with Bitcoin is that it generally trends up with time and that is something you can take to the bank. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, check out the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com and I will see you next time, bye.